with Super Firearms Training, and I'm here with Chris Bean from Tactical Advantage. And this evening, we want to talk to you all about getting past the mental blocks that happen, that you get past the mental blocks so that you can receive the information and the training that you're getting so that you can progress in, in the training that you get better in our craft. Um, so, Chris, what do you think is the best way to really kind of do that? And I think there's a, a whole bunch of ways to kind of work through this. Uh, but I think the easiest way to talk about it is from like a student perspective in anything. Right? Okay. Humans in general have the tendency to want to continue doing what they're doing, right? Okay. Uh, even if it's detrimental to them, uh, I think we all do that in some aspect of our lives. And it's very difficult to become open. I think open is the way I like to kind of think about it. To okay. Let go of what you're emotionally attached to and allow new things to come in. And I, I'm not a big fan of using this word, but that's when growth happens, when you are willing to emotionally detach from something. And when I say emotionally, I, I'm not really talking about feelings. Uh, if we're talking about like firearms instruction or shooting in general, if we've learned a draw or we've learned a grip, it's extremely extremely hard to make yourself change. I mean, there's a habitual quotient to that, but there's also an emotional attachment to the comfortability of doing that. Yes. Even if it works poorly for us, right? And you could actually see a result by changing something and still subconsciously or consciously not apply it because it, ugh. I see what you're saying there because I've done that myself where somebody has said to me, hey, you know what, maybe if you tweak this just a little bit, and but because I'm maybe struggling with myself and not feeling like I'm getting the craft, I might take that once or twice, but as soon as things kind of slow down, and right. you, get, you get back into your motion and then you go right back to what you're doing. Yeah, I, I had that happen to me today. Uh -oh. Today, in like a, a class I was taking as a student, uh, where there was a subtle grit change I was shown. And I just really had a hard time sticking with it. And it was uncomfortable to me to stick with it. But the result was better. Right. And it's very easy when you get into that loop to quit, right? To quit something. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And say, oh, no, I'm going back to my thing because that, that feels funny or, oh. And that's the worst thing you can do for yourself. So I think you have to get to a point, like we're talking about overcoming. Don't be afraid of a poor result when you're developing something new. Go ahead. I think I understand that. So what you're saying is you may change it, you may regress just a little bit because you've changed something, right. but if you power through it yep. and keep that change, you're going to find that when you get back to where you were, you're going to make a big jump Yeah, I, pass it. Yeah, and I had a conversation with someone today where, and I think skill development, anything you do, and, and not just shooting, but anything you do is a, a stair step kind of progression. Or if you think about it, moving forward, you make a full step forward and you kind of make a half a step back. A full step forward and a half a step back. Okay. You're not making leaps and bounds. Sometimes you do, sometimes you make huge gains, uh, but usually they're, they're smaller and more incremental. But if you don't run it to ground, you will never know if that actually changed. Uh, to kind of explain my perspective, I'm, I'm in, relatively decent shooter so so yeah. man and uh you know i was doing something today and i can consistently do this specific task at a very high level and i changed what i was doing and i was not getting that result i was not getting that dopamine hit of looking at a target and saying oh right. wham there it is but i kind of powered through it i did not you know just quit the idea. I did not abandon that. I said, you know what, I'm going to do this until I figure it out. And once I figure it out, if I no longer want to 
implement that, it doesn't work for me, I will abandon it, right? Because no one said that that's dogmatic. If, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work for right. you, you know? But if you don't push through to really hash out if it doesn't work, you're doing yourself a disservice, right? So, like, are you the same shooter you were a year ago? No. Are you the same shooter you were a week ago? No. So that's like the big thing, and it, it could be small or it could be large, but you have to kind of push through. So, speaking on the big game, little game thing, mm -hmm. a question just popped into my head is, uh, you're a very advanced shooter. So, you're training, mm -hmm. you do a lot of training, you might see a little game. Mm -hmm. Do you think for the advanced shooters, do you think that gives them the same kind of mental block as newer shooters who are, who are making giant gains and then all of a sudden their gains get shorter because their skill level is getting better? Yeah, absolutely. I, and I think it's, if you, this gets a little bit into mindset and developmental mindset. Okay. Um, if you continue to want to progress, and this is where like how good is good enough? Okay. Uh, at some point, and that's going to be different for everyone, you know, the, the amount of work they're going to want to put in to get to the level that they want to be at. I'm one of the people that I will never be good enough. Uh, I still have a hard time saying I'm good because I, I don't, I think that's a relative term that isn't good, you know. <laughs> I hate to use that word good twice, but it's not useful, right? Because I try and say, I am not where I am. Well, I want to be. I have not reached goal. Okay. So I want to continue to change and refine until I reach goal. And I think if you approach it like that, blocks get easier to overcome. And I, man, I'm telling you, I have struggled with blocks in yeah. my career. I have too. Uh, so I, I think it's willing the willingness to fail is what's going to get you there. Because if, if you, this goes back to what we were talking about, the result. If the result is poor, more often than not, your ego gets in the way and you don't want anyone to see you fail. Once you start not caring about that and it becomes about self-development, you can push through. I like the way you said that. It's, it's you yourself. You can't worry about what the shooter next to you is doing. No, because he's not in your situation, whether yeah. it be... And he ain't going to be at your gunfight either. Exactly, exactly. So, um, hey, anyway, hey, thanks for talking with me. Yeah, this man. was great. So I just, everybody, push through. Keep doing the work. If you do the work, the results will come. Um, don't give up. Just no. keep pushing. You can do it. Uh, and, and I think we're both, you know, proof of that. We've, we've hit our walls and we've broken. Mm -hmm. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching the video. I sure do appreciate you and have a good evening.